Yo, what's going on guys? David is back with a new tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to paint objects to animated characters. We will start very easy with a character animated by Mexamo. Just a simple working animation. In his hand, he's holding a pistol. This is the pistol right here. Today, I'm going to show you how to paint this pistol to the hand of the character so that when he walks, the pistol stick with his hand and also I have this backlink out here this shield as a backlink I'll show you how to paint it to the back of the character so that when he moves the shield moves with him as well also I'll show you how to paint like this pickaxe out here to the character animated by the game files like I showed you in the past tutorial I just have this simple animation out here it's hide the bones as you can see this animation out here we will paint this sword I chair to the hand of the character so that when she moves the sword moves with her as well and last also a little complicated thing I have I here now so from the last animation I made we want to paint this I think an eye chair let's hide now so for the moment this I think an eye chair it's so many layers on top of each other so as you can see we have this little sphere I chair this bigger one and this small here then we have this one and this one then we have this empty eyes here that controls the moving of the singan so we will learn today how to paint all this stuff together with just one click so make sure to stick until the end let's just start easy let's hide the pocket link for the moment let's go back to the first frame we want to paint this pistol to the hands right here to do that it's very easy just click on the pistol right here then go to object properties and I chair on relation expand that one then paint and paint just select this eye dropper and select the skin that we want to paint the pistol to make sure to select the bones of the skin not the mesh the, because the bones are the one that moves so I will just select the bones like that and as you guys can see pistol is now selected the bones but it's very small I'll just scale it by hand it okay now we have the pistol scaled up the same size as the character and if we move the armature as you guys can see the pistol moves with it but if we play the animation the pistol doesn't move with the character so to fix that we just need to select the pistol back and go to the paint type change it from object to bone now we will select the hand bone I will just type hand right here and I will select the right hand as you guys can see the pistol is now snapped on the right hand and if we play the animation we can see that the pistol moves with the hand but we will just fix that by adjusting the position and the rotation of the pistol And just like that, we have the pistol painted to the character. If we play the animation, as you can see, the pistol is sick with the hand. If we try to adjust the animation by ourselves, by going to the pause mode and try to move like this side here, if you can see the pistol sick with his hand. That one was very simple and we will do the same with the back blink. So let's make the back blink visible and let's select it. Go I to correlation paint then the eye dropper and select the bones of the character now switch from object to bone and let's scale it up again to 100 okay and for this one we are not going to paint it to the hand but we are going to paint it to one of these bones right here I guess I will paint it to this one but we don't know the, the name of this bone to figure out the name of this bone we just need to go to the pause mode and select this bone as you can see it's right here Fine too. Now let's go back the object mode and select our back blink and right here let's swipe spine two. Okay, now it's right here. If we play the animation, it moves with it. We just need to adjust the position of it again. And just like that, we have side armature just like that we have the character with moves with the back blink and the pistol on his hand very simple very easy let's now move 
to the next step. Alright, now we have the animation from the game files. Now the sculpture do her emotes and swing and we want to paint this sword I chair to her hand. It is very easy and we'll just do the same thing that we did before with the maximum animation. We will select this sword I chair and let's go to paint. Now if we want to paint it, we have cherry bones I chair to select. We have the body bones, the head bones and the hair or the face accessory bones. Of course we will select the body bones right here and we will switch from object to bone and let's try hand again. Now we have hand L for the left hand and hand right for the right hand. We will select hand right and we will adjust the position and the rotation of the sword to match her hand. And yeah, just like that, if we play the animation, we will see that the sword stuck to her hand when she moves and everything. And again, very simple and very easy. Now let's get to the complicated stuff. Not very complicated, but it's complicated a little bit. Now we have an arch right here and we have this big uh, thing and right next to him let's hide now for the moment now we have like i told you at the beginning of this tutorial this uh, thing and it's a mix of so many layers so we want to move all these six layers right here we want to bend them so that whenever they move they move as one we can of course select each one of them and go and paint it to now but that's too much we will do something else let's hide the character for the moment and we will add another empty shift a go to empty we will add this empty as a sphere so that we can uh, tell the difference between the empty that controls the whole async and the empty that controls the animation of the async now with this empty on its place we will go and select all the other layers right let's select every layer that makes that thing and then make sure to select this empty that we add the last one then press ctrl and p in your keyboard and click on object now if we select this empty right here and move it we can see that it moves everything with it even if we play it and move it you guys can see it controls the whole thing now let's go turn on now so again and by this big empty that we added the last one select it Go to the eye dropper and select the body armature of the character and again switch it from object to bone and select the hand bone we will select the hand the right hand and as you guys can see this i think and it's very very big than our character so we'll just scale it down and let's position it and just like that if we play the whole animation back let's hide the armatures and let's play the whole animation yeah as you guys can see even the complicated part was very easy and very simple if you just follow up what i did you'll get charged every time i hope that i helped you guys with this tutorial i hope that you guys learned something new if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to like this video and subscribe for further content yeah see you guys in the next one peace